uphill now. Uh, wow, we gotta chug up quite the flippin' hill here. Look at how much that's cutting into it. We'll probably have to corner again. Just to try and get around this hill some more. Ouch. Ah, this hurts me right in the wallet. Oh, we're gonna cross that contour line like itself. That's so strange. We were digging in and now we're up and above because it flattened out so much. But at the same time, we're really gonna start heading uphill here. I mean, that is a hill, but that is a gentle grade, thankfully. What the fuck happened? Uh, that little hill is gonna suck. Because we crest it higher than we actually have to, because we flip and cross rather than gently going over. Mm, makes me unhappy. Okay, oh, we're gonna cross that major contour. Is that a minor or a major? That's a major contour line, and that minor causes problems. This is gonna suck. Everyone prepare for sucking. Oh. It's not too bad, actually. Except that it's still a flippin' hill! Um, we really should put the station down before we continue now. Passengers! The goal. Let's have trucks do that hill. They can fuck them. They can do that hill. Not the turn. There we go, turn. And it's only a minor hill. Yeah, because we'll do a curve off of that down into that valley. That works for me. Yes, all of our lines are getting doubled. By default. We didn't come in, grad. We came in too much. Yeah. Yeah, see, we could have turned a bit more. Lamo? Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, that curve sucks, but. Could have come in a bit gentler. That's. Not the worst I've seen. Oh, look, this guy's actually going up the hill now. And remember where he, our friendly buddy was doing 11. This guy's doing 33 still. He's slowing down, but he's still slowing down. Let's get rid of the contour line so it's not so ugly. But he is tr a troop and is just champing his way up that hill because he's the champ. And also, he's carrying less cars. Oh yeah, by the way, I downgraded this guy when he upgraded. He just got three cars instead of six. So instead of carrying 36 people, because he was never filling up 36, he's carrying 24 that he actually fills up. And it's allowing him to also move faster. But, I mean, we were doing 11 and maybe cresting at 25 at the top. Like, about where we are now. And this guy just managed to keep it above 25 the entire way. At all times. 25 and above up that hill. This guy right here, he's the MVP! Until we upgrade him to a better train and then that train will be the MVP. Ah, such is life. Now he's starting to, the slope's going away, he's starting to get some traction again. He's able to really push it hard. He's coming into the station here shortly. There's the switches that uh, he actually uses. Because the other two share the close, the, the right track. This guy takes the left one. Of course, because why does life make sense? Or computers, for that matter. Since it is an AI that decided that. And... Lambo. Money. Cool. Make sure... I'm not even done. Just hold your horses, man. We still gotta take this track all the bloody way up. The 
That's 63,000 right there. That's expensive. Then we'll worry about your little roads. Gosh, there's another one, so that was about 110,000. And that's uh, rounded up 150. And blammo. We have blammed. Now we need to put down signals. And pray some poor bastard doesn't get stuck on a hill. That's roughly the top of the hill, so it wouldn't be so bad to be right there. And it may be inefficient putting so many switches, but they're only 3,000 apiece, which actually is a lot right now. But in the end, it makes for a more stable train system. You never got doubled up. So for now, you're just going to have to have one going both ways. See so that way, you can cross into the path correctly. Ooh. That's the going path, but for him, it's also the coming path. Right up those train tracks. Uh, we're gonna just turn you into a double for the moment. Right where you're at. Yeah. And we'll just do this connection. So this way. You will switch onto the appropriate track. That one, like everyone else, to go back up the hill. So that way we don't have to worry about you mucking it all up. So right now you're considered a branch line. And now we better finish off the road. Um, let's do a large street. We might as just... well. Uh, that's why we're not doing a large street. Medium street it is. Ow! You slay me! What the hell is the thing's top speed? 20. Oh, shit. We're actually getting above the two-lane streets. I don't want to hold people up because it is outside. Oh, God almighty. Oh, it hurts right in the wallet. And the two-bus station, which we'll upgrade later if we have to. But whatever line this is, you just got a new connection. You're going to have to... Come past this intersection here with a foundry. It looks some kind of factory. From the center of town, right through shitty industrial district. Hit those people! Run them over! Oh, 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 they stop. Wow. Um, and out on this beautiful stretch of two lane highway, out to the train station. There shall be a train shortly waiting for you. Uh, I mean, it, I guess it doesn't terribly matter at this point. Uh, because this is going to be a branch line, so whoever train does this will do everywhere. We have to send you back to the depot. We will. That's not too bad. Okay, now we need to make a line. Actually, we're still pretty good in the money, too. So you're gonna go from Limey Regis, currently, to Shefford. And we will call this the Shefford Branch Line. Because it is a branch line at the end of the day. And then our train will uh, need build. Now we've lost 
the good little train, and it's still stupid expensive for me to get much better than that. Um, well, it's not even really. Damn it! All. Oh. Well, it's still stupid expensive more, but you're actually gonna be everywhere. So, yeah, let's just blow more money than we got. Um, the Prussian G3 would probably be a good investment because of the hills. It does have 160. Wow, it's got almost twice the power and three times the tractive effort. Oh, that. Okay. Maybe we can get more cars for you, though. Not yet, we can't. We can't even get enough to get you to three. Ugh. Speed up time, please! I need some money. The end of the year is coming. Hurry up now. That's two. But, oh, we still need some more cash. Well, three cars it is then until, uh, damn trains are expensive. So hoping we can start in the next part of the line. That got us back into the green. Uh, gosh, see, look at that. That Brampton Lime Regis was doing really good, but only Clevedon now is 400,000. It's ridiculous. Okay, that's good. You get into some money. And then we'll take this train around for a trip and see how it goes. But then we hopefully will start working on the next line because we'll have some money. This thing will take forever to go. If this thing doesn't have a massive train, if it doesn't have a massive amount of cars, it will take forever to get all the way around to all these stations and back. Because it is such a slow train. We'll go for now and we'll add cars later. Too much curvature, you say? Now we have a glorious new faster train that will hit the top speed of these cars. And provide more attractive effort for the hills. Gosh, it's already getting up to speed. It's just, man, can it hold some more cars than that. Problem is, is he'd have to hop off be able to get back and we'd waste a lot of time. I mean, we are now pulling along at 50 down this hill. This is mostly downhill going this way. But this is a long ass train. So Sheffield Branch Line now looks like it's a 14 minute transfer. And that doesn't include the other lines. So that is quite an extensive time period. Even for something that's as fast as this guy. Um, makes me think about doing another engine for the other slime. 